Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm just going to give you a quick tip. It has really nothing to do with Second Life. And as you see, I'm using Blender 3.0, which is out now. What I want to do is to create a pipe or a cylinder and have a right angle turn in it. And have it uh, a perfect one. So I've come up with two mechanisms to do it. Go into wireframe view and I will show you both of those. Okay, so I'm going to select this, those vertices and do an RY45. And as you see, it distorts the, the uh, cylinder so it's no longer circular. I'm going to make a duplicate to get the right angle. Shift D, enter, RY90. And I did the wrong one. R Z 180 G Shift Y and drag it up there close. And what we want to do is we want to get it as close as possible so that we can do a merge by distance. So a G Shift Y. Did it take it? G Shift Y, yeah. Right, when we got him close, hit A to select all and M to merge by distance. And as you can see, we got all the verts out. Now we need to fix the distortion. So we'll go to side view and doing a shift alt and select those vertices that inner ring and do an S Z to fix it so that it is circular. And then we can do a top view or a bottom view and do an SX so that it's circular. And there we go, fixed. Okay, so that's the one mechanism. And now let's show you the other one. And that one we're going to use the knife tool. First off, just to save a little time, I'm going to do a cut that corner off K. C to cut through, A, angle constraint, left click, drag the mouse over, left on, hit left again to confirm, hit enter to get out. Let's go back into wireframe and delete those vertices. So we're started with the same thing. So again, now this time we're going to use the knife tool to solve our problem. So knife tool shortcut is K. And in the bottom, look at the menu at the bottom, type a C to cut through. And then over here it says A for angle, and it's 0 and 30. So we want to type A45. Now we can do a look, press the left button down and drag it across. And then let up, and then hit left again, and that. Uh, brings it in. Let's delete these vertices in the top. Now, we, as you can see, we, we no longer have the distorted problem. So we're going to do the exact same thing we did before. So I'll cut this video off here. And, uh, oh, except that we don't have to correct the distortion. So that's what I got for you. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you again next time. Bye.